Fuck the possible go wrong. Today we're brewing a Saison, which is one of my favorite styles of beer. The Saison we're brewing today has strawberries and lemons. I'm always interested to try a brewery Saison when I go out and drink beer someplace, because they're all different. It's a general idea of a style, you know, bright, bubbly, a little spicy, simple, fruit in the springtime, low ABV, pop a top and enjoy it. Should we grind some grains? What's this cut to drink it? Can we do that? Just cut to drink it? Yeah. So we got to actually brew this? I, if you saw it on the internet, it must be true. <laughs> All right, let's uh, crush some grains and get this brew day going. Hell yeah. Sweet. Oh, by the way, this is our last video with masks. We're all fully vaccinated. It's a simple grain bill. It's Pilsner malt as our base malt, six pounds of that. And then 1.6 of Vienna. And then there's a wheat in there as well. Oh no, oh no. That's why teamwork is important. That's why you brew with your bro. Let's just do a single crush today. I'm down. Woo. So we put a post out in the community tab. We asked what some favorite seasonal beers were. A ton of people, at least one, said, we want you to brew a Saison. And we said, hey, Ross wants to brew a Saison. If Ross wants to brew a Saison, Emmett wants to brew a Saison. Let's get these long boys. The Snuffleupagus model here. So 60 minute mash, 153. For more information on this recipe and many others, check out our website, clawhammersupply.com. Get ready to take the pH reading. How hot's this water? 153. Fahrenheit? Don't touch it with your skin. 5.74. We need to drop that down. Yeah. Ideally, you probably want to bring it down to like 5.4, 5.5. All right, here we go. We're gonna do half skis. We're on the low end, that's all right. Tim, did you plan to dress like a couch today? I wore my normal uniform. Thank you kindly. It's not my fault the couch is trying to be like me. Is that pump off? I just killed it. Kill that pump. Get those hooks in. Cool, man. That was, that was well done. Mmm. That is delightful. What's special about the Saison that we're making right now is that I just got a text message from my sister and she birthed a small child into the world while we were mashing in. He was nine pounds, six ounces, and 23 inches long. I, I think that's quite long for an infant. We just got up to a boil. We're at a boil. 60 minute edition. Uh-huh, first hop edition. We're doing an ounce of Willamette. This is a good choice, perhaps. I think so. We'll get some nice peppery notes, hopefully. Let's throw these fucking grains on the doo-doo. Oh, that's your favorite. That's, that's my favorite. favorite part. I love doing this, man. Go. It's the best part. Let's get lunch. Lunch time. You can have Taco Tuesday every day. It doesn't matter what day we choose. Is it Tuesday? No. In my mind. So we're gonna chop up some fruit, slice some strawberries, zest some lemons, and do a very precise addition to our boil as we flame out. Uh, yeah, so fresh strawberries, they're in season. When you watch this video, they're probably still in season. The lemon and the strawberry, they go together like lamb and tuna fish. One pound. We're doing a whole pound? The heating element is off. It's a lot of sugar booger, bud. Dude, it is. Okay, let's uh, keep, keep adding things, man. Okay, lemon drop. That's an ounce, we're doing half. Gonna get this citra in here. That's half. What makes it special? What makes it fun? Oh, we're gonna throw some strawberries in that son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. It's a little tart. It's a little sweet. It's a little seedy. Definitely got a full body lemon flavor to it. Dude. Are we at a spa? Look at this. Are we having brunch at a spa right now? I'm getting a full-on strawberry steam out on my face holes here. I dive right in. 
We're chilling our wart down to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I kind of, I want to shoot for like 65. 65. On the fly. Do you like that? That's impressive. It's looking like we're definitely have a strawberry hue to it. What I'm stoked on is this yeast that we're using. Got two Gogurt tubes of White Labs WLP568 Belgian style Saison ale yeast. For me, I think the yeast in a Saison is what usually defines the style. Yeah, so we just bought this, figured we'd check it out. It's gonna hopefully data log the ferment. We're bugging the bugs, man. Yeah, man. We're, we're low jacking this beer day. All right, here we go. It's in. It's in. Didn't say anything about strawberries. <laughs> okay. 1053. It's pretty good. 69 Real degrees. Real time, science. Put in the cellar. I'm gonna go put this in the cellar. We, uh, we went from grain to grist to mash to wort. We added hops for bittering, hops for aroma, sugar, fruit, two varietals, lemons and strawberries. We pitched in some domesticated farmhouse yeast straight out of Belgium uh, and, you know, two pounds of friendship. Shook it up in a bucket and threw it in the corner. Now we're gonna wait and see if uh, we made some good springtime hooch or not. You feeling good, Emmett? Our beer is done fermenting. It's almost ready to drink. We're gonna keg it, quick carb it, add some strawberry syrup. Really looking for that nice red hue and a little bit of that strawberry sweetness. I think that'll be real nice. Okay, let's pop the top. Oh yeah, they are, dude. Those are like Freddy Krueger's face strawberries. That's how it's supposed to look. So yeah, man, well, I'm excited. How's it smell? I get a little booze on the nose. <laughs> it's not good. Do anybody know how to quick carb? Mr. Snuffleupagus is real. I've seen him. Go on, swim, Willie. You've got to be free. Jump over the rock barrier. Go, go swim with you. Go swim with the orcas. Echo the tides of time. A time-traveling dolphin on a quest to free his oceanic brethren. What a beautiful journey. Making syrup. You can already see the juices. Why would he add heat to the berries? It ruins the flavors. Dude, look at this. Shit. Mm. Right now, we're adding measured amounts of the strawberry syrup to the saison. This will allow us to dial in the perfect ratio so we can upscale it to five gallons. You can use this method to back sweetened ciders or any beer with any type of fruit or sugar concoction. It's got f fruit and lots of it. I can see the pulp. Mm. From a color standpoint, I think it adds a little something. From the flavor, it doesn't. It does not. So in conclusion, we decided not to use the strawberries because it's better without them. So at the end of the day, we didn't add the syrup to the beer. Not a big loss. It's home brewing. There's no rules. Don't let anybody tell you you have to do it a certain way. You could add sugar to your strawberry syrup. That might help. I don't know. We didn't try it. Emmett, what are we going to do with all this strawberry goop? No, so what we're going to do with this leftover stuff here, Ross, we're going to make some Italian sodas. Fun for the whole family. One of my girlfriend's favorites. Yeah. So I make it for every Tuesday, and this will be a nice little treat for her on a Friday. Wow, look at that. It looks like a Saison. Uh, it smells like a Saison. Does it taste like a Saison? In a full glass? Mm. It sure does. It's like we knew what we were doing. It's like we knew what we were doing. The yeast really is on display and- Very much so. I mean, you can, it's natural fruit. That's yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Very natural. 
It's fresh, it's bright, yeah. it's clean, it's springtime in yeah. a glass. It's springtime in a jar, man. You get the strawberry, you get the lemon. Oh. You sure do. It's a treat. This gives you hope during times of despair. Puts a little smile on your face when you didn't used to care. What I'm saying is... Uh-huh. I came in with an open heart and an open mind. Uh-huh. And this is delicious. Hey, Ross. Hey, Emma. I want to thank them for watching. Who? The internet. Oh, they're out there? Yeah. But if you're new here, subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one. And cheers and brew. Say hello to your mother for me. Yeah.